Well, on my father's side, um, Alex B. Wilson, my grandfather, uh, came to Brisbane as a child from Glasgow. Mm -hmm. And um, his um, architectural training um, was, I think he may have been in the works department for a short time. Mm -hmm. um, he, he went to London and whatever the process was, he got an, um, an ARIBA there. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's by exam or what. Um, and he returned to Brisbane and commenced practice in 1884. Um, I think he went to England at the same time, so I think it must be a fairly short visit to England. But he certainly picked up the, the uh, British membership while he was there. Um, so he commenced practice 1884 and uh, <coughs> during his career he was a president of the Queensland Institute of Architects on about three occasions. Um, the last being in about 1920 one after probably a decade or more of, of other things. My father <coughs> uh, commenced his, his years at the grammar school and then he went into his father's office as a, a cadet and trained there. Uh, there was no architectural course at the time. But when the university started, um, there was a, an engineering course and he decided to do that. Um, he was a successful student and he, uh, he won the first Walter and Liza Hall Travelling Fellowship, uh, which was just near the outbreak of the First World War and it took him to America and then on to Britain, mm -hmm. and he was in Britain during the, the war working for munitions, uh, returned to Australia um, about 1920, 21, um, and joined his father in partnership. His father retired in the late 20s and he continued in sole practice as uh, Martin Wilson, um, just prior to 1930, and he continued as such as a sole practitioner until I came along um, and I commenced my training at the university as the third intake of degree students. Mm -hmm in 1949 at George Street.